<sighs> Sorry, friends. Okay. So let's get started on the first one. Number one. First thing we're going to do is just write down what our A value, our B value, and our C value is. So in number one, what is your A value? A value is one. What is your B value? Zero. Yeah, there isn't a B value, so your B is zero. And what is your C value? It's also zero. Good. All right, so we've got our first three written down. Next thing is we're going to find our axis of symmetry. So remember that is negative B over 2A. So what is my B value that I'm going to plug in? Zero. zero divided by 2 times A and what's my A value? One. One. So zero divided by 2. Well, what's zero divided by two? Zero. It's just zero, yeah. So my axis of symmetry is at, and I should really have put in x equals, at x equals zero. So that is a vertical line at zero. So maybe next axis of symmetry where I'm gonna write down the word vertical line so that I remember to make it vertical. So let's jump over to our picture and let's draw in the axis of symmetry. So at the number zero, I'm making a vertical line. So I'm gonna come over here to my graph. Here's zero. So right here, that's where I'm gonna make my axis of symmetry. So typically we just do like a dotted line. So maybe if you wanna like highlight it, that's not a bad idea or do something like that to show but that's where your axis of symmetry is. And I'm also, I'm just going to put AOS right next to it to show that that's my axis of symmetry. So yeah, if you want to grab a highlighter from the boxes and use a highlighter, you're welcome to. And so that axis of symmetry is the middle of my graph. That means the left and right are going to be mirrored images across that middle line right there. Okay, good. First part done. Next one is my vertex, my vertex. What do I have to do now for this vertex? I got to take that zero and plug it in to the equation. So my equation becomes y equals, I plug in the zero for x, so y equals zero squared. Well, what is zero squared? Zero. zero. So where is my vertex at what point? Zero. zero, zero, right at zero, zero. So that's gonna be the first point that I graph. So I'm gonna come over to my graph, right at zero, zero, which is right in the center. That's gonna be my point right here. If you wanna write V next to it for vertex, there's my vertex. Okay, good so far. Now, is this a happy graph or is this going to be a sad graph? Um, this is a happy graph, right? Because my A value is positive. So this is a happy graph. So now I know it needs to be a U, okay? So this vertex down here, this is my like bottom point of the U. And now everything's gonna mirror on both sides. So here's all we're gonna do. We're gonna pick a number. <coughs> Doesn't matter what number we pick. We're gonna pick a number for our X. And then we're gonna practice just plugging it into the equation. So I'm gonna start with an easy one. I'm just gonna pick the number one. So if I come over to my graph or my equation, excuse me, and I plug in the number one for X, what am I gonna get for my Y value? So what is one squared? It's just one. So my next point that I'm gonna graph is positive one, positive one. So over one, up one. Now, this graph is a mirror. 
right across this line. So there should be a point on the left that's in the exact same position. What's that point on the left that's going to be in the same position? Negative one and positive one. So these two should be the exact same distance away because it's a mirror, it's a quadratic. So if you were to plug in the number negative one, you should still get a positive one. And that does make sense because if I put a negative one in right here, negative one squared is still a positive one. So these points right here, they're called mirror points. They're the same on both sides. So if you do one side, you should always be able to get to the other side and you don't even really have to do the math. These are called mirror points. And typically I like to just stick with the positives. Make my life a little easier. So let's pick another point. Doesn't matter what you pick. Give me another number. Okay, two. So if I pick two for my X, I'm going to plug it in. What is two squared? Four. four. So the next point I'm going to graph is at positive two, positive four. So it's two over and four up. What would be its mirror point? Negative two. Negative two positive four. Good. That's another set of mirrored points. Negative two positive four. And then I'm not going to worry about doing that last point there because we did the vertex. I really should have just put the vertex down. What was the vertex? It's zero, at zero. zero, zero. Yep, that's the vertex. And so I've got my table filled out. And then I'm just going to keep going with the graph. And there's your first quadratic. You've graphed it. We're not going to worry about domain and range. We'll talk about that tomorrow. OK. So. You've got your axis of symmetry. You find your vertex and then you just start plugging points in. So it's just a little bit of like plug and chug kind of moment. All right. Questions so far? <coughs> Feel OK? Not bad? All right, let's do another one. Um, we'll do two and three, and then I'll let you guys try the back sides, OK? All right, number two. What should be the first thing I do? Um, the, a, B, and C. the A, the B, and the C. Good. What is your A value? One. What's your B? Two. And what's your C? And actually, before I do anything else, is this going to be a happy graph or a sad graph? Happy. happy graph. Good. OK, so we'll start with our axis of symmetry. Negative B over 2A. OK, who wants to tackle that for me? So oh. Um, well, it's negative 2 over 2, comma, 1. 2 times 1, good. And so your answer is what? Good. X is equal to negative 1. So at negative 1, we're going to draw a vertical line. So you can highlight it or you can do a dotted line like I'm going to do, but something to show that that is where your axis of symmetry is. So I'm going to come over to negative one on the X axis. And here's my axis of symmetry. A O S. Beautiful. That negative one for decline. Okay. Next is the vertex. So what do I have to do? Plug in the negative one. Good. So everywhere I see X, I'm going to put a negative one there. Negative one squared.
So I'm plugging in negative one. Okay, what should I do first? The parentheses negative one times two. Yep, negative one squared. So that's negative one times negative one. What do you get? Positive one. A positive one. What is two times negative one? Negative two. A negative two. And then I bring down my plus five. So what is one minus two? Plus five. Four. Good. Positive four. So your vertex is at what point? Four. Well, what's the whole four. coordinate? Negative one, negative one, comma four. Good. Negative one, comma four. There's your vertex. So if you want, we can put that as our very first point in our chart. Negative one, four. That's the, I'm just going to put a V by it for vertex. There's my vertex. So negative one, positive four right here. And my graph's got to be going up. Remember, it's a happy face. So look, your vertex should always be on your axis of symmetry, always. If it's not, then you're doing something wrong. Okay, now I just got to start plugging in numbers. That's it. So pick a number and let's plug it in. What do you want to pick? Oh, let's pick an easier one before we do positive one. What's an even easier number I can plug in? Zero. Yeah, let's plug in zero. Okay, so if I plug in zero right here, that's a zero. Plus, I plug in zero here again, that's another zero. Five. So these both cancel. You're just left with five. Good. So zero, five is one point that you can plug in. Zero. Okay, what would be its mirror point? Um, zero, negative five. Well, so the mirror point should be the same distance away from this pink line and right next to it. It should be right here, which is, yes, negative two, positive five. Oh, it's a happy graph. Yeah, yeah, happy graph, that's why. So that is negative two, positive five. And those are the mirrored points. So I'm just gonna put a little thing by them to show that they're the same. And then I just need to plug in one more number and you can plug in whatever you want. You don't have to plug in a one because it's the next number. If you wanted to plug in a two, a three, a four, or something like that, you can. But I'm gonna plug in one because it's easy. So let's plug in a positive one. So I'm going to come over here. What would one squared be? Two. Well, that means one. one times one. One. What is two times one? Two. Two. And then I bring down my plus five. So what's one plus two plus five? Eight. Eight. So one comma eight is my next point. So that's here. Okay, and then the mirror point should be the same distance away on the left. So what would be the mirror point? Negative three, yeah, negative three, positive eight. Perfect, and you're done. Good job. And then just don't forget to continue the graph because a quadratic goes on forever and ever and ever and ever stops. All right, feeling good? Questions so far, you feeling okay? I'll do one more with you, I'll do three, and then you guys can do some on the back, okay? Mm, yeah, that's a good one, I'll do three. All right, number three. Sad graph. Definitely a sad graph, good. So let's make a sad face, sad graph. Brown's going down. All right, what should I do first? A, B, and C. What's your A value? Negative one. What's your B value? Negative eight. And what's your C value? 17. 
Okay, good. So be, we already know this is going to be negative, so we got to be really careful with the signs this time. Okay, axis of symmetry, negative B over 2A. So what do I plug in? Perfect. So positive eight, because you're changing the sign, and then two times negative one. So what is eight divided by negative two? Negative four. Good. Negative four. So at negative four, I'm going to make my vertical line. So come over to your graph, find negative four, and make a vertical line. One, two, three. So negative four, vertical line. Okay, vertex means you're going to have to take that negative four and do out with it plug it in. So you already know you're going to plug in the negative 4 everywhere you see the x. Now, be really careful because there's a lot of signs that are negative in here. So because this first one's a negative sign, I'm going to put a 1 there. I'm going to put a negative 1 there so that I don't get myself mixed up. So I'm going to put the negative 1 first and then I'm going to plug in my negative 4 for my x. minus 8 times negative 4, and then minus 17. Well, yeah, so this is the one that's like the trick one because of the negative signs. So what should I do first? So negative 4 times negative 4. Good. So this piece goes first. Negative 4 squared means what? What do you got? Negative 16. You get positive, positive 16, six. right? Negative 4 times negative 4. This is positive 16. And then what is positive 16 times a negative 1? Now it's a negative oh, 16. Okay, so right. okay, good. What is a negative 8 times a negative 4? Negative. negative times a negative. Makes a positive... 32. And then minus 17. So put in your calculator. Negative 16 no, negative plus 32 minus 7. I want a negative 1. Yeah? Oh. Yeah? I thought I had it wrong. No. Give yourself a pat on the back. Good job. This is negative 1. So your vertex is at negative 4, negative 1. Put a V by it, and let's graph it. Negative 4, negative 1. Here's a vertex. Okay, now it's time to plug in some numbers. So unfortunately, we're going to have to plug in some negatives because if you go to plug in a 0, you're going to get... 17, which is not even on there. So unfortunately, we are going to have to plug in some negative numbers. Okay. Doesn't matter which one you start with, though. Which one would you like to put in first? All right. Works for me. Um, I'm going to I'm going to come do this work down here so that I don't mess up. Okay. So if I'm plugging in negative two, again, keep the negative one in front. And then negative 2 squared minus 8 times negative 2 minus 17. Okay, so what should I do first? Negative 2 squared, negative two squared which gives you what? Mm, yeah. Oh, uh, so I just picked a number. That's on the graph. That's all I did. And so you could you could have picked 
anything that you wanted. She just said negative two, so I just picked uh, that's it. So your chart, when you go to do these, might look different than the person next to you because you might plug in different numbers, but it, do it doesn't matter what number you plug in. Yeah, good question though. Negative two squared is positive four, four, four and then four times four. negative one is negative four, good. Negative eight times negative two, positive 16, and then bring down the minus 17. Okay. Oh, wait. And now in your calculator, you put negative four plus 16 minus 17. Negative five. Negative five, negative five. I got a confused face there. What's the confused face? Do we not get negative five? Um, no. How did you put it into your calculator? Well, no, 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 because this is a frown face. It's going down. So if you got a positive, then that means your graph's going up. And we want a frown face. So that's negative five. All right, negative two, negative five. So plot that point. Okay, and what would be the mirror point on the other side? Two over. Yeah, negative six. Negative five. Good. Those are mirror points. OK, now you have to pick one more number. I don't care what you pick. But you're going to pick one more and try it. OK, so either pick you could pick negative one, you could pick negative three, you could pick negative five, or you could pick negative seven. Any of those are fine. Something that's close to this area. So you pick a number and you try it out and we'll see if we get the same number, okay? So give it a try, plug something else in. Anything you want. Okay, so depending on what number you picked. That's what I did. I got it right. Yeah, depending on what number you picked, um, I put all four down because I didn't know what you guys were going to pick. So if you plugged in negative three, 
you should have gotten negative two. If you plugged in negative five, you should have gotten negative two. Those are mirror points if you plug either of those in. And then negative one, negative 10, negative seven, negative seven. Excuse me, these are also mirror points. So it doesn't matter which one of these you did. As long as you have at least one more set of mirror points, you don't need all four of them. Okay. Yay. Hey, I feel, feel okay. Feel all right. Okay. Um, we have 51. We only have about five minutes left. Yeah, we'll finish that tomorrow. But what I want you to do right now, I want you to at least try one more. So why don't you jump down to seven and give number seven a try? Because that one's a that one's an easy one. OK, so try number seven and then we will check that one and we'll finish the back tomorrow in class. OK. All right, so give number seven a try. 